Welcome back to Let's Play Mystic Ninja Star and Goemon episode 11! Uh, last time we had to talk to one guy to start the next part of the game, and it's this guy right here! So why is it this guy? Because he tells us about Mr. Mokube up on Mount Fuji from, from the beginning of the game, and he is going to uh, help us get a pipe that'll help us get to the top of Mount Fear. So, we'll go as Yai, call our dragon. Because we can do that. That still blows my mind. Because we can do that. Yes, yes, yes. And we'll just get go ahead to Kai's Coffee Shop. <laughs> can you imagine how how uh, Kai and their clientele react to a dragon just pulling up into the drive through just going, Need coffee! It's Japan. They're used to it. <laughs> yeah, I would think so, by now at least. I, can't, I still can't think of any game where you get around by transporting my dragon. Oh no, so the cool. dragon's crash landing! Ah! Back to this awesome song. Oh, I know. Oh my god, you're doing it to the beat. I love doing it. <laughs> I have fun, okay? Shut up! <laughs> That's good! I like to have fun with my favorite games. You shut your mouth. <laughs> anyway, back at Mount Fuji, it's practically the same thing over again, so we're just gonna blaze right through it. And, and I mean blaze right through it. Well, we don't have to get any silver fortune dolls or anything like that, because, well, we already got them. Oh, I was hoping you'd meet your quota, like, ten fortune dolls an episode. I don't know if we're gonna get any silver fortune dolls or not this episode. What? Ah. Get up the ladder, guy. Okay, there you go. Come on. Oh, I thought you were still doing it to the beat and there was a nasty guitar solo <laughs> happening. <laughs> no, not quite. Okay. <laughs> well, wait, wait till the drums come in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, 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 that. She's trying to MC along to it. Hey, welcome back to Mystical Ninja starring Goemon, tonight's DJ. Starring yeah. Flowemon! Oh, oh, shoot! I apologize. I'm <laughs> just sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I should apologize for, but I'm just sorry for it. <laughs> well, now I got so much health, it really doesn't matter now about the challenges that they've had at the beginning of the game that we had less health, but now we can just go right through it, doesn't matter. Excuse me, slinky guy. Excuse me. How do you even get past those guys? Can you kill them? Get past them when they're still. Oh. Or uh, maybe when they're kind of head under when they're about to hit. I don't know. It's not difficult. And then a boulder comes out of nowhere. Ah! Fuck! That's about the sound I would make if a boulder was falling from the sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> Faster! Come on! I just love doing that. It's fun. Alright, here we are at his house. Oh, okay. We're already here. Alright. Talk to me, Moku Bay Sama. We've come for a cup of coffee! Oh, is this in the coffee? Oh, if it was, we could have flown right here. Oh, well. Well, then, please improve our weapons. Is he suffering from rigor mortis? I don't know. The only thing that moves is his arm. Whoa. So now what he has done is he has improved our weapons, all of our weapons, to level two. Nice. But there's a reason why I'm Yai right now, because she gets a new ability with this upgrade. She gets a sword shield. You hold B? Well... well actually, let me show off other weapons. Goemon gets a silver pipe. Longer range. Yabisumaru gets a silver hammer. Very nice. Sa uh, Sa Sasuke has a little thing. A little trail against his weapons. And Yai, like I said, has a sword shield. Oh, okay, cool. Deflects projectiles. 
Excellent. All right. Now we're done here, we can go back to the Festival Village. Back to Mount Fear. And damn it, I still can't jump off the mountain correctly. No. Oh, it's what I came here for. I never got my vindication. <laughs> I need a minute. <sighs> so now we head back to the Festival Village, like I just got through saying. Before you go on at this point of the game, make sure you have at least 300 coins with you. I don't think you have enough, dude. I think I may be a little short, but uh, I think we'll be alright. We can haggle it down a little bit. <laughs> you give me what you offer me for 260 coins! <laughs> I take no less, no more! Uh, a little lost here, uh... Okay, the idea is we're gonna head to Mount Fear now. The idea, also, but what's the reality? Also known as the back way out of this village. Or the... yeah. That's actually important though, what he's talking about here. For we'll be going there a little later on this episode. <gasps> yes! Alright, I think this might be the way... Uh, yeah, we're good. Alright. And here we go, out the back way, to Mount Fear! Ah! Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Time to go through that path we couldn't go through before, which is just over here. What was preventing us again? This gigantic block of ice. Oh, yeah. And now that we have stronger weapons, we can just... You know, kind of... Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Wait, what? Wow! Whoa! Such power! Amazing! Oh, anyway. wow, the power to defy physics! We must be handling with such real power here! Good lord, where did you happen upon those weapons? It was all for my best friend, Mr. Mokube. Desu. You ruined the joke, man. It, I know, I'm sorry. It was, it was all good, and then you had to throw that out. Yep, yeah, and I had to add Japanese words. That's, that, that's all right. Pronounced incorrectly, and it's my American ways in order to destroy any humor. I appreciate uh, the direction we're going, but uh, it kind of derailed towards the end uh, towards, towards the end of that. Uh, kind of, you should work on that a little bit. Well, at this point, you're climbing Mount Fear. Sorry, there, there is no punchline, because apparently I can't be funny. Alright. Here we are. That small hut hidden behind that tree. I don't know why that tree is there, but okay. Oh, scary! Should be. Oh, no. Very spooky. Are those skulls? What is this place? By the strategy guide. D fuck! It's all in Japanese. <laughs> Ask Konami, they're nice people. <laughs> They'll always stay nice people. <laughs> Old man. Strange look. Dark place. The wise man! Didn't he die? knew this man. Well, now we can call his spirit. This is why you need 300 gold. Wait, wise man did die? Of course. Or am I thinking of something else? No, no, he died. Okay. At least we think he did. He died. <laughs> yeah, if she has the ability to take your money, yeah, he's dead. Well, look on here. Purazuma! Take that! There he is! 
Kind of can't see him a little bit, but he's there. That's him, right there. So Kyushu's in the sky, wise man's dead, where do we go from here? Wait, oh how, shit! How do you understand that? There's only one way to get to outer space to where Kyushu is. We need the miracle items. The oh. stuff that we've been doing already. We've already checked out the stone circle when we explored this place, so... All I gotta do is... Tell us where the last dungeon is! <laughs> okay, that was a good one. We got some good lines. So Good one... luck on my search, huh? So yeah. one more temple, huh? Yep. Okay, well where is the fucking miracle item then if you're so goddamn smart? Alright, well let's rock Ebisu for a while while we figure out what to do. Oh, finally. Thought we were gonna leave him in the dust for the rest of the game. You just go down here and you'll slide down and... There you are at the entrance to Festival Village. I was just thinking, I, I really hope his partners just push him down a mountain and watch him snowball <laughs> into Festival Village. Why? 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 That was pretty good. <laughs> so now we need to go to the other end of the village. Is that where the next temple is, or is that just another clue? The next clue to the next part of the temple. Oh, good, good. We're going to the waterfall of Kigon. It, it's almost like this episode already knew where we were going. We make good time. Yes. No bullshitting around in this Let's Play, getting straight to brass tacks. That's right. It takes us to Uzan. Bless you. <clears throat> Thank you. Anyway, we're in the tunnel! Yep. yep. <laughs> Good job, Abista. <laughs> I'm an athletic star! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! He's like the Luigi of Goemon. So now we're going to challenge the legend of the waterfall. And I dread the thought of seeing a male mermaid, so which means that only Yai can have this. This is Yai's magic ability we're going to be shooting for. Oh, okay. I almost pass on it, but then again, a mermaid. This is probably the easiest training exercise the entire game has to offer. Because all I gotta do is just mash A. You know how good I am at that. Yeah, you are a very good button masher. But those things <laughs> always keep... Those <laughs> motherfucking things always keep trying to push you down, but... <laughs> They give you enough time, so you shouldn't have too much problems. Ah! Sorry, lady! I'm just not doing very good. Ah! Ah, shit, I hit Bo! Cack! Biff! <laughs> Doing! Almost there! Almost there! Almost there! Almost there! Almost there! <laughs> there we go! Is it really the do doing of the merman? I think. Beautifully done! Oh, really? So now we can go underwater. Well, isn't that just perfect? It is just perfect. So only as Yai? Only as Yai, though. We get in the water, and we hit C up. And now we can swim. Well, cool. Check that shit out. I'm a mermaid! I'm gonna collect stuff from the surface and sing about how I want more! Wish I could be part oh. of your world- Oh wait, I could just change whenever I want to. As you start glitching through the world. Part of your world! <laughs> and then a Gyarados comes out of nowhere and... The game is over. There is something down here, I promise. Oh. I'm calling not a fortune doll. No, oh, a back door to the waterfall. Pressing B will make you do a little bit of a. Uh, 
<laughs> no, no, no. So you can only press C up at certain times, but that gives us another fortune doll. But it's golden this time, which means another heart. Boop. Wow. <laughs> so, wow, you only have four hearts left to go. Yep, I think we have one more golden fortune doll left to get, too. So, let me think. That's about, what, ele uh, let's just say 11 regular fortune dolls left and one golden fortune doll? Probably, and there's three that we've... M there's two that we missed in the f in one part. There's a couple we can get now with this uh, special ability. So, uh, that doesn't leave a whole lot left. You weren't kidding when you said this game was short. Criminally short. Like, God, it's going to jail for how short it is. Exactly. Handcuffs and all, not even a bulletproof vest. Prosecute it ferociously. Edgeworth wins. Q Law and Order theme. I really hope you do all that. I hope so, too. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, future UDJ? You better do it! So now that we have our mermaid powers, what do we do with it? The hot springs. No! Clearly. Clearly. Close, but no! Going back to the other end... Back to Mount Fear. Oh my gosh. This game's like Metroid Prime with how much backtracking we're doing. Oh, that's tough. But well, wait! Oh my gosh! A use for it! A hidden area. And let me guess. Oh. That, well, that wasn't my guess, but... Hey, wait a minute! Is that another there. coffee house? Nope, but you know what that oh, is? Well, that's... Yeah, I Ding. guess. Another silver fortune doll, whatever. So, alright. This is a shop. A special hidden shop. With special hidden items. How does this guy get business? A gold helmet, a gold armor, and a surprise pack. We'll be buying all of that. So that gets us a little bit of, am of uh, armor, I suppose. This as well. So that's 16 free shots. And an extra life, because fuck you. And yeah, we can come back and get as many extra lives as we can. So, technically, what I could do is I could go to Oedo Castle, refill on fucking uh, money, and then come back here and get as many lives as I want, and then we'll be good. I'm just glad we're still doing a no-death run. <laughs> it's I'm not sorry. A, it's not no-death anymore. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No game over, so that's for damn sure. Yes. Yes, yes. That, that was still probably one of the funniest things to happen in this Let's Play. I'm really glad that happened. Uh, I'm glad it worked out, too. <laughs> Although, I will admit, that, Wrong way! that temple was bullshit. It was bullshit. We gotta go back there, though. Oh, yeah! we need to ba Do we need to backtrack to all the temples, or just that one? Uh, we need to go to... The Ghost Toys Castle, and we need to go back there, too. Okay. We're good, we're good at Oedo Castle, unless we want to get more money. But this is the way we need to go. Back to Mount Fear, and past that other door over there. It all makes sense now. Mount Fear, the ability to be a mermaid, this extra door I never knew existed, is perfect! Right here. Oh, that, that that makes way too much sense. Yep. We're in the Sea of Japan now. And there's oh. something we gotta do here. I guess you can only turn into a mermaid when you're not moving. I yeah, yeah, I was about to say, you. I'm sure you were pressing the right button. Trust me, I was. <laughs> I want to see it live. You better have that scare cam in the next episode. I gotta put an input cam in the next one. 
<laughs> Whenever so you press B, mash into that switch. What's that do? Well, oh, does it make the lake rise? No, nope. or the sea it opens rise? Opens a door over here. Hmm. I'm glad we have a water level now. This place is a little bit confusing to navigate. Because you're not even sure what you're supposed to be looking for. Is that ice? Mm-hmm. I didn't think Japan was that far north, but okay. Or, like, spontaneous north. Hey, what's that? Another extra life! Holy fuck! <laughs> no longer dying! Or game overing. I don't think there's very many instant death traps anymore. Except for maybe the last dungeon, but I think we're okay for this next one. So going down to uh, one of the corners of the map here. You can't attack underwater right now, unfortunately. You find another fucking fortune doll! Imagine that. Jesus. They're everywhere. That's not all that's down here, though. I'm just loving the ambient music wherever you go. Soundtrack is amazing. That's the real reason, that's the real reason I want to play this game, just to show off the fucking awesome soundtrack. Dude, you got hit. Uh, I did, or did I? Can you imagine if they actually showed that armor on your character, so you're just clanging all over the underside of the ocean? Well, that's way before that's time. <laughs> and here we are. A sub? Mmm. Mm -hmm. Way ahead of its time. Submarine out of nowhere. In we go. Whoa, this is really uh, weird. Whoa! Good thing I had some armor because now they're just throwing shit at me. Down in front! We can't see! Guess we'll follow the arrows. Another in. All right. Uh, okay. And uh, okay. bang. Sorry, I can't do it. <laughs> and welcome to the fourth dungeon. Oh my god! Here's a little flyby before we get started. Good lord! How is this all inside one submarine? They're all masters of interior decoration. Yeah, no doubt. And to get things started, this is going to be a, a lot weirder than the dungeons we've had before. But don't worry, I like it a hell of a lot better than the last one. Because now we got a map. <laughs> right there, right there, right off the bat, there's the fucking map. Just right there. And uh, that does it for this episode of Mystical Ninja Starring Goemon. Next episode, tackling this fucking dungeon. <laughs>